Once upon a time, in the heart of a small African village, there lived a girl called Ama. Ama was a young soul that was very beautiful to behold. She was well-mannered and hard-working, and she was the type any good man and his family would love to have as a wife and daughter-in-law. In the village, the villagers married off the young maidens to the men in the community once in a year, and during that time, candles were used to determine and choose the rightful husband and wife for them. The young men would light candles, and the young maidens would also light candles. The candles would flicker in harmony with any of the girls, and anyone whose candle flickered in harmony would be married off to the other person. So, the rightful partner's candle will be the only one that will flicker in correspondence with the maidens towards the rightful husband will be chosen. The candles never gave a wrong partner to the maiden. It was believed in the village that that was the reason why many marriages there were blessed and often they lived in harmony. Ama had some friends she had grown up with and she was very close to one in particular called Beams. Ama and Beams were very close and often went everywhere together. They did almost everything together. Everyone in the village knew they were best of friends, including their parents. And as they grew up and got closer, they felt they would not be able to live without one another. So it was assumed they would get married someday when they grew up. As they grew up in the community, one day it was announced that it was time for the young and unmarried ones to get ready for the candle selection practice for marriage. That was the candles never lie ritual. It was the start of the marriage and that was to be the following week. Ama and Beams were among those to take part in the ceremony. Beam held Ama's hands few days before the ceremony and whispered, My love, Ama, I pray our love is given the chance to blossom into a fruitful one in marriage. Yes, my love, replied Ama quietly. It will surely come to pass. Beams? Yes, of course, it will, affirmed Beams with a smile on his face, confidence filling his heart at the look in Ama's eyes. <laughs> Beams and his parents were confident that he was going to marry the nice and beautiful Ama, the same with Ama's parents. They were very confident that Ama and Bims would marry because the two teenagers loved each other and they approved of Bims. The villagers were also confident that Ama and Bims candle kind of would flicker together in harmony because they were already in love. So the day of the candles never live feast arrived. A day when two souls were destined to be together, their candles will ignite and burn with an eternal flame. Ama and Beams stood side by side, their hearts pounding with anticipation. Each of the youths held a candle, waiting for the moment of truth, because the candles never lied. As the villagers grew silent, the elders chanted ancient blessings and the night sky was illuminated by the flickering glow of countless candles. The maidens were matched with those whose candles matched in flames with theirs and then it got to Amar's stone. All the villagers had been anxiously waiting for that moment because Amar and Bims were really popular in the village. Amar stood with a candle held firmly in her hands and lit. The young men were brought forward and as they stood beside Ama with candles in their hands, the elders began to chant. The candles began to flicker and everyone waiting with anticipation gasped as three young men's candles flickered the scene with Ama's candle. Out of all the young men present, 
three of them beams and two others known as Jaye and Kosombo. Their candles were in unison with that of Ama. Everyone roared. It was unexpected and nothing of such had ever happened in the village before. Each person's candle always rhymed with another. But now three people, three men, young men's candle rhyming with Ama's own and beams has been the soul friend, lover, everything to Ama. How were they going to do that? Everyone roared. What kind of thing is this? People asked. Hmm, others said. I've never seen this type of occurrence before in my life. Thus, the ceremony came to an end that day for the first day to be continued the next two days to come. Ama and Beams were crying as they stood together after the ceremony that day. Hmm. My love, Bim said. <sighs> Sadly, I never expected this. What is our fate now? I think there must be a mistake somehow, replied Amma crying. But I know the candles never lie. And so our love will surely show. It will shine and the candles will flicker, whispered the dejected Amma. Ah, your parents were not happy. Ah, they were not happy at all, and the villagers were sad at it all too. The next day, the ceremony started again, and all the girls were married off to the other men, remaining Ama and two other girls. As the ceremony came to an end that next day, so the following day was to be the last day, and conclusion was to be made as. So who will marry Ama? Three men on the line. Who will win? Ah, Beam was crying. Ama was crying. Beams, I love you. I can't live without you. Beam was crying. Ama, Ama, my love. Their parents were sad. Mm. So on the next day, the young men came out and the candle feast began again. That was the last day. Ama and Beam's hope relied so much on their love, reflecting that day. And as the ceremony began, they looked on with their hopes fading away as Chaye's candle flickered and danced more in harmony with Ama's candle flame. Everyone's eyes widened in ill as Chaye's candle responded in harmony. The flames of their candles intertwined, casting a warm golden light upon their faces. The village erupted in joyous and a sad celebration, for the candles had revealed a love that was destined to be, yet had been hidden for long. From that moment, it down on a man beams that they had lost each other forever. Jaye's love for Ama had been kept within them since he set eyes on her as a small boy and never wanted to struggle with beams over her. He had prayed for her and looked after her from a distance and yet no one knew. He was happy that candles never lie. Ama and Jaye got married and beams, although got married to someone else, was very sick for a long time at the loss of his love and best friend Ama. Ama on her part could not believe she had lost the love of her life, but as time passed, she found that Jaye was much more loving and in tune with her life than Beams. She fell in love with Jaye and thanked the candles that brought them together. That's the end of that story. Please don't forget to like the videos, subscribe and press the notification bell so that you'll be among the first to get my videos each time I release a new one. Thanks for watching.